Hot season in Crimea, but Russian tourists are running away. The day in Chankoy district began with claps and fires. One on the transformator station, another one at the ammunition depot, and later one more fire happened at the military airfield at Gvardejskoye village. It didn't take long from the Bellingcat agency researcher Christo Grozev to find out what was there. 12 Su-24M and 12 Su-25SM. No reports of the damage, but the reaction of Ukrainian authorities this time came faster than Russian. Quit smoking and take care of fire safety. This advice is very necessary. Here you may see the weapons near Jankoy just lying on the ground along the railway just the day before the explosion. Nothing has changed since the USSR time in Russian army. Everything has changed in the Russian army since the USSR time. This is the main message of the Russian Weapons Forum, which they call an international security forum. Both Putin and Chegu presented their last researchers of the modern weapons market, such as AliExpress, for example. Here you can see the dog robot, which pretends to look like a ninja with the rocket launcher. The declared price of this non-Alex machine is about 1 million rubles. But if you put away black tape and the Soviet Times tube from its back, you'll find the $4,000 toy from the open market with widely discussed ways how to switch it off distantly. I got good news, everybody. You got a robot dog coming at you. Just hit that motherfucker with a flipper. Among the other secret Russian toys, Chinese drones rebranded for Kalashnikov, truck without cabin, Ukrainian army regularly does that with Russian trucks, and other mystical gadgets bought on sale. The official presentation warns that 72 states participate in this do-it-yourself forum. In reality, the observers found less than 10 – Turkey, Belarus, Thailand, China and Iran, from whom Russia has been begging the drones for the last six months. The last but not the least participants were presented by the minister Shoigu aloud, taking this strange event to some intergalactic level. But what this forum did prove is that Russia is suffering from sanctions exactly how it should. No one wants to work or be connected with this terrorist state, and the Western support of Ukraine works brilliantly. So while Russia tries to make tanks from vacuum cleaners, the civilized world is coming one step closer to the end of this barbaric bloody war.